Welcome to Fins Up, your weekly look inside of my Madden 21 franchise. It's your boy King Mike, keep it moving, and this is the premier Madden League. In this episode, you'll take a look at our week 15 matchup against the Panthers and the Commission himself, as we got a win last week, so we're trying to string together some strong wins to end out this season. We'll also do a deep dive into Tua and, and seeing how he has risen from rookie uh, a solid rookie year to second year, being in the running for quarterback of the year. So Tua has definitely stepped up to the occasion and as we try to push to see if we can turn him into a superstar. But first things first, let's take a look at some of these highlights. The Miami Dolphins make their way to Carolina to face off against the Panthers. And then we start off here with a quick draw play to Christian McCaffrey. He gets busy right up the middle. The Panthers are known to have a, a nice stable of running backs, 10 to be exact, if not more. As you can see here, their star running back, Najee Harris right there, a nice juke move. He's known for running people over, but right there, he showed you he has some quick feet. Jet sweep right here for the first touchdown of the game, 7-0. The Panthers jump out to a quick lead. The Dolphins get the ball here. Tua looking, finding Gasecki. He goes oh, through somebody, but he also goes down. Gasecki is hurt. He has had a remarkable year. Turns out he's going to be out for the rest of the season. Let's see if he still gets some upgrades because he had a great year. Who else is having a great year? Tua and his rookie Rashad Bateman. That's a touchdown. 7-7. Seven, seven, and the Panthers are back in business here. Their rookie quarterback tries to go for a screen, holds the ball a little bit too long, and he gets sacked. That's a pickup six. Big man, <laughs> you don't know what he was doing there. He couldn't really decide which way he wanted to go. Had a lot of momentum to the left, to the right. He finally got it up the middle. Touchdown. Fields was not to be played with, though. He said, okay, I might have made a mistake there, but give me the ball. I'll get, I'll make a play for you, coach. Uh, as you can see there, the option. He kept the ball himself, 20 yards. First down. Right there, though, he's doing a little bit too much with his arm. Keep it on the leg. Keep it on with his legs because that right there is an interception. And there is Keontae Ingram trying to go through that guy. Brita was sitting down for a second. We got it to our fast, our, our power running back to make a play. You see an out right there to Preston Williams. And we tried to get it up the scene. Gasecki should have been there, but that's Reed. Maybe Gasecki goes up and makes the play. I don't know. It looked like just a bad pass either way. We get the ball back here. It's still 14-7. Nice dot right there from Tua. Out of bounds. Jordan Reed is going to still step in for Gasecki and make some plays. Reed is showing his speed right there. It gets a nice run. And we are in scoring range. It is still... 14 to 7. Nice pass right there. We get it to Preston Williams for a touchdown. And it's 21 to 7. The Dolphins are starting to pull away just a little bit. Can the Panthers stay in the game on their next possession? Play action. Fields looking deep. Fields getting it. Nice pass there. Got out of the pocket. Made a nice read. And the Panthers are in business here. Second quarter on the 11-yard line. Another uh, read option. <laughs> Commish show it off just a little bit there scoring a touchdown fields with his legs Justin Fields is the rookie here in the PML but our second year quarterback Tua was a rookie last year and Tua showing them how to fling that rock around pass here pass there passing everywhere Tua Oh, puts it a dot to Jakeem Grant, who we haven't used too much this year, but he make a play there. Screen pass to Breida. Breida puts on the move, and he takes it in for a touchdown. 28-14, the Dolphins. Panthers get the ball back here, and they drop. Justin Fields drops back. Should have been sacked. Don't know why, but he made a nice read. Nice over the middle. And it is now time for the Panthers to see if they can make a play. They get it to one of their 10 running backs. That's Horath. And Horath takes it in. Nice play there to get within 7. 28-21. Here comes Miami. A nice play right there to Parker. And we are on the move. 28-21. Into the third quarter. Tua is just flinging the ball all over the place. Putting on an exhibition. But he's doing a little bit too much. That's an interception. 28-21 the Panthers get a three and out so we get the ball back and we put the ball away a nice jet sweep right there put this game away it's now 38 or uh, 35 to 21 the Panthers 
drop back here. They're looking. They're not going to give up. They hit Robbie Anderson. Robbie makes a nice little move right there, juking two people. It's still the beginning of the fourth quarter, so they still have time to make a play. But <laughs> JOK says we are going to end that big hit from Justin to Justin Fields right there. And on the very next play, JOK says, nah, you ain't going to run the ball either. 35-28 still. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. I don't think that's enough time for the Panthers to make a comeback. And they do not, because as you can see, that's the victory formation. Let's jump into these stats to see how this game played out through the numbers. So as you can see, the final score was 35-21. Your Dolphins get the second win in a row here. And offensive yards, we outgained them for, by about 100 yards there. Um, and we did most of our work in the air, but yet we did have 108 yards on the ground they had almost 200 but on the in the air like we said we had 340 pass yards to their 153 22 first downs to their 14 we won the turnover battle we only gave it away twice they gave it away three times we took it away and as far as the time of possession it was pretty even um, normally we win that so uh, that being even is something new uh, Tua had a great game four touchdowns here 365 to 61 yards two touch or two interceptions uh 27 to 34 almost 80 80 percent completion so Tua went off the rookie justin fields didn't fare as great 161 yards one touchdown two interceptions he was sacked twice he went 13 of 18 for 72 percent as far as the run game the dolphins had 11 carries for 57 yards from Brita and our rookie Keontae Ingram chipped in for five rushes for 45 yards at a nine yard average we need to get him some more carries going into season three and two of one carry for eight yards let's take a look at the Panthers real quick who is known for having a lot of running backs in his stable and you can see they were all used here Christian McCaffrey 12 for 64 Justin Fields the quarterback three for 46 and a touchdown uh, Xander Horvath is four, had four carries for 40 yards and a touchdown himself and the Ricky Najee Harris, uh, 40 yards off seven carries. Uh, Curtis Samuel, receiver, probably hit something like on a, on a jet sweep or something. So let's go back to the Dolphins here. Take a look at the receiving. Preston Williams went off 10 catches for 131 yards, one touchdown. Ricky Rashad Bateman, five catches for 83. He gave us two touchdowns. Breida, four catches out the backfield, 41 yards and a touchdown. And Jordan Reed stepped in for Kiseki, two catches for 29 yards. And J Jakeem Grant, there's a Jakeem Grant sighting, two catches for 24 yards. And as you saw, Kiseki went down on the very first play of the game. Uh, but he did have one catch for 21 yards. And as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different receivers caught the ball. That's, that's big time. So let's take a look at defense real quick. Brandon Jones had six tackles uh, to lead the way with Keanu Neal right behind him. As far as tackles for loss, Shaq Lawson got in the backfield two times. Brandon or Byron Jones had one, and JOK came through with a tackle for loss and a sack. Uh, and that's going to do it. Before we get out of here, we wanted to take a look at Tua and he as he tries to win quarterback of the year. So as you can see, Tua is going into his second year, six foot quarterback, 217 out of Alabama, 24 years old, 92 throw power, 88 deep, 90 mid, 93 short, and he could throw on the run a little bit at 84. Under pressure, he can make plays at 84. Right now you see he has a morale boost. Can't not really that fast, 81 speed, but when he does get out the pocket he can move around pretty quick with that 85 acceleration um he gets tired easy 82 and we know he's injury prone so we try to make sure he doesn't take that many hits uh, but let's go take a look at some of his stats on the year um 5,000 looks like he has 5,265 yards uh man he's having a great year 50 touchdowns 34 interceptions and a 74 percent completion rate Tua is with these numbers he's a sure in to win quarterback of the year let's go take a look at the voting and make sure that we know what we're talking about here and as you can see go to quarterback of the year Tua is in first place over Josh Allen so Tua is going to win quarterback of the year turn into a superstar we're excited about season three we'll see y'all on the next episode of Fins Up peace